Now, UFC 265 was actually an incredible card, but I could not make any videos about it whatsoever without mentioning Jose Aldo. Now, there were some absolutely incredible fights on that card. There was some... There was a lot of fighting of the night contenders, submission of the nights. We see, we saw crazy knockouts. We literally saw it all. And I wouldn't say that this necessarily was the best fight. I wouldn't say it was necessarily the best performance, but it stuck out to me, and it just looked like vintage, vintage Jose Aldo, and it was beautiful to see. And I don't think anyone can disagree with that. I think every MMA fan is a little bit romantic at heart and we want to see Jose Aldo competing for that title again. I mean, the man is an absolute legend and you only have to watch this sport for five minutes to actually realise the magnitude of this character. I don't think that the way ex-fighters or panellists or analysts or I'm not even trying to speak in rhyme, it just happened that time, <laughs> but... The way that they speak about this man is sort of you understand quite the scale of Jose Aldo. I mean, John Anik said multiple times on commentary, I've been in this game a long, long time and I've never got starstruck. But the only man that gives me that sort of that feeling is Jose Aldo. DC said the, the absolutely same thing. You watch Michael Chiesa in the countdown or the embedded, sorry. And he said the exact same thing. He said it's a, it's a dream, like being in the room with him and he was signing posters and he was looking up like he was sort of, saw his idol when he was like eight years old and he got a photo with him and whatnot as well. So it speaks to the, the size of this man in, in the sport and it, it, it is crazy and it's beautiful to see him back to performing to his best. And it's interesting because obviously in his younger career, we're so used to seeing those low kicks um, and that set a lot of things up, but he hasn't utilised that recently or much at all. I can't remember the stats off the top of my head, but a very, very minor amount of low kicks in his last few fights, which is ironic because coming into this with uh, with Munoz, I think he threw 40 or 50 against uh, Jimmy Rivera. I remember watching that fight and that was an absolute war. So it was. I thought it was going to be battle of the leg kicks a little bit, but, and I'm going to be honest, I had Pedro and Munoz. I really, really did. I thought that, Jose Aldo had the better skills. I think he had the better striking skills, but I thought that Munoz edged it in terms of punching power. And I really did just think this was going to come down to who wants it more. I, I did. I thought that Munoz's power would sort of always keep him in that fight. And I mean, he's game. Like, he's an absolute dog. And he loves that dog fight. And when he brings that war out, I think that's when he gets better. Obviously, we've seen that against Cody Garbrandt. And I thought that was going to be the same for Aldo. I thought Pedro Munoz was going to be able to sort of lure this this dirty fight out of Jose Aldo. And I I thought I thought Munoz would uh, would take the win. That's how I sort of play, saw this playing out. But it was the furthest thing from it. And I wasn't upset that I got that one wrong in the slightest because I've got the other one very, very right. Check my serial cam video if you have not. Yes, I'm dropping that in there. I can't actually get that prediction on any more platforms, but that's why you make them, because you can say you missed it when, when they come in. But anyway, as I was saying, yeah, so I'm not ashamed to say that I did have that, but his his striking was absolutely beautiful. Like I said, we didn't see him utilise that low kick uh, too often, but he didn't need to, really. His his boxing was uh, was incredible. I think he said that his striking has felt some of the best he's ever felt. So if he's saying that, and I mean, he doesn't often doesn't often say things for the sake of it is is quite terrifying because I think he was boxing with the uh the Marines or something he was doing a lot of work with them and you can see how it's improved you can see it's it's so efficient it's so accurate every time that that jab was just landing over and over again and I mean I I don't want to say he played it safe but he I still feel like he won that fight within his means he he was still holding a little bit back, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that almost in a in a very very positive way in terms of what are we going to see next? Because when he let his hands go properly, he was terrifying. It honestly was some of the quickest striking I've seen. It was absolutely electric, and I mean he only 
he threw some punches in bunches a couple of times. And I mean, it literally was only a couple of times. But when you watched it, it was just too much. It was too much for Pedro Munoz. I mean, he you could sort of tell he was trying to load up that big right hand throughout the fight. But he couldn't get close. Aldo's distance control, his timing, his efficiency, it, it was just too much. And I think it showed. And I think he's a real, real problem in that bantamweight um in that division in the so yeah it's a it it's interesting it's it's very very interesting because that division is very very exciting and arguably one of the most stacks i mean a lot of people are talking about that being the premier division now and it's hard to agree with it and there's some absolute fights to make in there and i think tj dillashaw is the one apparently that's getting spoken of at the moment which I think that could be I think that could be a war. I think that could be a five round war. I mean, it would probably have to wait a while. I would imagine TJ's gonna take some time to recover from his last fight. Um but yeah, that's very, very exciting. And we don't know how that fight's gonna get played out. We don't know if that fight's gonna get made, but we do know one thing. We gonna find out. As always, you know the drill. If you enjoyed the content, please drop a like and a subscribe or just engage in the content and drop your comments or thoughts below. We love creating a community. We love getting people involved in the conversation. Ultimately, we're just trying to grow the channel and carry on doing what we love. So if you enjoyed it, like I said, get involved, hit the share, send it to a friend, get involved in the podcast. Every podcast that we put up, we put on our Spotify and our Apple Music as well. So Follow our Instagram, you'll see the links in the video or you'll see the usernames in the video. Follow us on Instagram where we post daily, daily, daily content on MMA, keeping you up to date. So go and get it, people. Peace.